So Epic decided they were going to throw us through a loop and update their game on Monday as opposed to Tuesday. But don't you worry, as always, I am still a day late. And if you don't like that, then I don't know what to tell you. But in all seriousness though, Epic actually did add quite a few things to this update that are genuinely phenomenal. From the new galleries to the new device, I'm going to do my best to cover everything. So in case you missed anything, hopefully by the end of this video, you're all caught up. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Epic starts their vacation sometime relatively soon, so if you're experiencing any new bugs with this update, I'd be fully prepared to deal with them for a while, because it might be a hot minute before they get fixed. Hey everyone, this is Syntax, and today we're going to be looking at the newest update for Fortnite Creative version 21.30. A whole bunch of amazing stuff was added in this update, and there's a lot to cover, so come on, let's take a look at it. The first change you might not have noticed right away is actually in the lobby. If you open the menu you can now see what specific creative maps your friends are playing as you can see right here it says this guy is playing prison breakout where it would usually read as creative matchmaking now there are still some cases where it says creative matchmaking but for the most part it shows the specific map now <laughs> look this guy's playing backrooms combat what a legend anyway moving on to the actual new creative content we got a new weapon this update that is the prime shotgun it has four shots a relatively fast fire rate but you have to be careful if you shoot all four shots because it has like a 37 second reload time. I mean, I swear to God, just look at this animation. It looks like time is actively being slowed down to reload this gun. Like, what are we doing? It's an interesting weapon, to say the least. But anyway, I want to move on and direct your guys' attention to the newest device they just added. That is the player marker. Part of me wants to sit here and act like I know everything there is to know about the player marker, but I simply do not. So I'm just going to sit here and read what they have on the patch notes for the sake of not getting anyone confused. It says, with the player marker device, you can create a marker that would display information about a player on their nameplate, specifically their health, shield, resources, and how far away they are on the island. If I'm not mistaken, to simplify, it's a way to display information about whatever players this specific marker is associated to, and you can also drop items into it and send signals according to how many of the item the player either does or does not have. I'm pretty sure at least. There are a ton of settings on this thing, ranging from what icon you want to associate with the player to how much information other people should have with regards to the player's health and shield, how often you want to update their position on the minimap, and what requirements the other players would need to meet to even see all the information about any players. There's even a way to send a signal by comparing the items in the device to what the player should have on their person. There are so many different ways to actually use the device that it would easily take an entire video to explain all the possibilities. Staying on the topic of devices, there is actually a new way that certain tracker information is displayed. You might have noticed it when you first loaded into the hub. If you looked in the top corner, it's sort of looks like a battle royale challenge prompt which is cool but you have to be careful when you're using it because it takes up like a sixth of the screen if you have three up there at once now even if you didn't read the patch notes that's still a pretty easy change to notice but for this next thing that i'm going to talk about unless you're a zombies map maker you might not have ever even noticed that this change was applied if you go to the creature spawner there is now a setting that prevents zombies from despawning so if you don't want them to despawn when they get too far from you or the spawner just turn this setting on and you're good to go. The last thing I want to talk about with regards to devices are the 240 plus new icons that we got that are also now compatible with the tracker. Here's a screenshot just to give you an idea of how many that is. You can scroll through all the devices they're compatible with, but it's an insane amount of options and it's amazing. And with that, we've reached the point in the video where I would like to talk about what I consider to be the stars of this update. The new prefabs and galleries have presented us with some of the best pieces pieces we have ever gotten inside of Fortnite Creative. The new Deserted Fortress prefab and galleries are very unique in the sense that they give us an insane amount of variation all with the same palette. We have a single brick piece and an entire wall and then we have every possible combination of wall in between that allowing for insane amounts of customizability. Once you actually go through the prefab and all of the galleries it's insane to think about how many different custom walls and floors and door frames and windows you can make with these pieces. Plus you have the archways that would look incredible in almost any build and there's a really cool looking chain which is amazing. Of course let's not forget the different variations of waterfalls that we got as well as the splashes for putting at the tops and the bottoms of them and we also got this thing 
I, I don't really know what it is. It's, it's semi horrifying, but it's here now. Did I mention you can make the waterfalls like absolutely massive? I mean, I don't know why you would need to, but you can, so go crazy. Jokes aside, I think the galleries are easily the star of the show for this update. Obviously, for people that just refuse to use anything besides the parkour gallery, you're probably not that excited. But for someone who thoroughly enjoys building everything and making everything custom, this is, I'm gonna have a heyday with these galleries. Anyway, that's pretty much everything that I have to say. But before I go, I want to let you all know that there is currently a bug with anything that is customizable. If you go up to it and then don't look away from whatever you're trying to customize before you walk away that customize option is going to stay on your screen forever so just make sure that whatever you're customizing look away from it before you walk away or that prompt will just stay there infinitely so yeah update version 21.30 a really solid update aside from any bugs of course that work their way into the game let me know what you guys think of the update down in the comments i'm always interested in hearing what you have to say but anyway guys that is everything i have for you today i really do hope you enjoyed this video and uh yeah this has been Syntax. Later.